Good morning, guys. Uh, hopefully, we've got a nice short little project for you today. This is going to be uh, upcycling my old Advent laptop. Uh, it's been a long time now since we used it. The battery charger is missing. The batteries are shot anyway. And the last time we did use it, I mean, it was so slow. It was enough to make a grown man cry. It's terrible. Plus, as we'll find on this one, Cracks in the casing, which I think was quite common with this model from what I read on internet forums. So rather than just take it to the trash, we're going to try and upcycle it and create a portable hard drive with my new Inatech FE 2005. So let's get going. Nice and easy. Hard drive is located. Let me support that one there. Under this little hatch here, which is just secured by the one screw. You can see that, even that's broken. So. Oh, come away my hands. Right. There's a hard drive. I can't remember if this one's 40 or 80 gigabytes, but you know, it's still usable. This is an old SATA drive. And I don't know if you can see that, just down there. One, two small screws. We're always keeping this little caddy in. One. And I think, turn that round, we just pull it backwards. We just need to maneuver that one out. One two and a half inch hard drive. 80 gigabytes. Nice. So, you know, you'll still be able to use this one for storing data, photographs, or, you know, your little YouTube videos rather than store them on your laptop. So you can keep them on here while you process them. So anyway, put that one there. Put that one over there. And it's going to be going into my new hard drive. So we got this one yesterday from Amazon and it was just 10 pounds, you know, you can't fault that. So what have we got in the box? One book of words. Hmm, one book of not very many words. Hard drive caddy. Cable. Hmm, phone. No idea what that's for, we'll get to that one later on. So, let's have a look at my new caddy. Here she goes. You know, these things are really, really cheap to pick up now. I mean, not, I only chose this one because I like the look of it, but there's loads and loads around in the tech. So, a look at this. Uh, you have to think. You have to make sure this one's unlocked, which he is. And then I, th you open this one by moving the the top and the bottom in opposite directions. So if we do that now, oh yeah, there you go. And the little door drops down. I don't know if you can see it in there. And down on the bottom, I don't know if you can see that. Here's the SATA connection. This one is also adaptable apparently. You can put a solid state drive in here as well. It's not just SATA. 
So, first of all, you have to take this little caddy off of the hard drive. Off. Two. Three. Four. Here you go. Very nice. So, quick look at this to see which way around it locates. Short side, that side. So it goes. Label side up. Well, that's a snug fit. You just push it in. Drive it home. Snap the door. Wow. That's it. Done. That was really, really neat and a really snug fit. I'm really pleased with that. I'm guessing this piece of foam is for a solid state drive because I think they're smaller than the SATA drives. So you would stick this to the top of the solid state drive to take up the gap in here so it doesn't rattle around. I mean, but this one is really snug. So let's fire up my other laptop and see if it works. Grogu. So what we do now, now the hard drive's in there, you push this little switch across to lock it. There is a little symbol on there, a little padlock. Then you take the cable which you're supplied and it goes in there. USB into laptop. That little sound confirms that the laptop's picked it up. So, see if we can find it. So this one's showing up as Vista D. Bish bash bosh. Loads of stuff. So what you would now do is you would save any photographs, any documents that you want, you want to save this because what I would do now is using the drive tools I'd format it. Formatting will wipe that drive and prepare it for new data so but that could be for another video but as you can see how easy this project was was that 10 15 minutes it really is simply plug and play the laptops picked it up he's good to go i can wipe that one now once i've backed everything up and i've got a new 80 gigabyte hard drive for 10 pounds can't go wrong guys nice easy project thanks for watching hope you found it interesting and uh, give it a go